Hello, so I'm going to talk you through the process as I'm making some expressive paintings. The first thing I'm picking up is some water soluble graphite. It's by a company called Artgraph. And I'm beginning by making some very spontaneous marks just to lay down some ideas to be able to respond to. Nothing to thought through, purely spontaneous, very immediate. Uh, but as you can see, I'm filling um, the working across both sides of the page, wanting to kind of create some marks and some moves that feel interesting and spontaneous. Getting out some brushes. Here I'm using some uh, watercolour brushes, nice soft bristles, which allow me to move the material around quite easily. So just having a little bit of water here uh, to the brush, actually. That's is a hake brush. Uh, again, very, very soft um, bristles, very soft brush, very gentle. As you can see, um, I'm just adding the water and moving the colour around a little bit. I, if you can see that I'm holding the brush right at the very end, right at its tip, so that I'm able to literally just kind of move it very gently across the surface of the paper um, to create these quite spontaneous expressions. Next up, bringing in some um, acrylic ink. Really simple process here. Squirting the ink onto the page directly and using the dropper to create some scratchy marks through it. And then again, switching to a brush, another watercolour, uh, another watercolour brush. And again, moving the colour across the page really spontaneously, quite um, quickly. This is a, a golden fluid acrylic that I'm using here, and I've um, I'm using it directly on the page from the nozzle of the of the bottle. Similar process again, adding a little bit more water to the brush, and then gently dragging it through the ink to create these quite soft, spontaneous, very expressive marks. What I want to do with these pieces often is to just let my intuition guide me. Though I don't begin with a plan, I haven't particularly got any um, end in mind when I'm beginning. And what I'm doing is responding to the materials in the moment, responding to the marks that I'm seeing. So the next piece that I've brought in here is some charcoal. I wanted to darken down that top area. That was what my um, impulse was suggesting to do. So that's what I've done. And then bringing in some more fluid and dramatic lines to connect really these two shapes that you can see on the left and the right. Often when I'm working like this it's it's very immediate and quite quick and with very little thinking that goes on between the moves. I think I'm bringing in some more, yeah this is some more pastel at this point, bright red chalk pastel to again bringing some more, uh, brings in some more colour and some more expressive line, mark, uh, line work. So that's it for this piece. I hope you enjoyed watching this and that there's been something that's been useful to you. Thanks very much.